Please welcome Amanda Stenberg. <laughs> Amanda, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you in person again. You know, yes. in real life, last time we saw each other was during the pandemic. It was You're like a back. FaceTime last it was. time. But Everything other people was, uh, just got to witness. Yes, <laughs> and now they're here in person. We can yeah. touch each other. We can feel each other. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. On the new film, it is certified fresh. I think it's like 90-something percent on Rotten Tomatoes. The people are loving it. And I've, I've seen horror movies. I've seen comedies. I've seen movies that are commentaries on society as a whole. I don't think I've ever seen a horror movie that comments on society as a whole while being funny at the same time and dealing with people's sexuality. How did you do it? Congratulations. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Thanks. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's definitely a mixed bag of a film, uh, and we were nervous about the tone at moments, but, uh, we just want people to have fun. I feel like the easiest way to deal with the ugliest parts of ourselves is to have fun while dealing with those things. I like that. We tried to, <laughs> we tried to approach it like we were just making a, a purely dramatic film. I love that. Um, like, nothing was funny about the situation. The thing is that we were playing terrible people who don't know that they're terrible, and that is hilarious. It really is. Um, and so <laughs> that was what we were going for. We had to authentically be the worst people ever, um, <laughs> and the result was hopefully some comedy. You know what makes it funny is you're watching a horror movie. Most horror movies you watch, and you're like, no, don't kill that person. Here, you're like, no, don't kill, well, OK. Yeah. No, because all the characters, like you say, and then here's well, the thing. Well, I think we say to each other in the film, we're like, you deserve it. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> and that's, that's, let's talk about that. Like, uh, you, you have a movie that critiques, you know, social media, the, the way we see ourselves, even our friend groups. What I like is it's not judgy. You know, it's something we all do as human beings, and, and it, it's, it's, it's fun. It's like a cool commentary on, on, on what we all do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love horror films so much because I feel like it's one of those mediums that... For some reason, it's, it's it's the easiest to make social commentary through horror films. Maybe oh. because like people, human beings are so driven by you know like fear and love, and so right, right. horror uh, makes sense. And so <laughs> I feel like um, in this movie we were trying to make commentary about themes that have existed for a very long time. Mm -hmm. But this is a hyper-contemporary film because it's about how all of that is just exacerbated by social media. And so now we have this, like, literal uh, cutout of ourselves that's online <laughs> uh, that we, like, prune and we pick at and we update and we show to the world. Uh, and, and so we're kind of trying to make fun of how ridiculous that is. And you're one of the few people I, I've known who, for as long as social media has been around, you've always commented on this. Uh, you, you, you're barely on social media. You post now and again. <laughs> but one of my favorite posts you ever created was, it's you wearing like a really like uh, revealing outfit and you're playing like a really sexy song. And this is when they were taking, you know, women's posts down. They're like, you can't have that post. You can't have that post. Uh -huh. And then your post was, um, I've read that if you if you type hashtag ad in the caption, oh, they don't pull it down. Yeah. And they still haven't pulled it down. Yeah, I've actually had a couple videos of mine banned on social media. Yes. I primarily use TikTok now um, because I was just, you know, posing in an outfit and um, and it said that the content was sexually explicit. Right. Um, even though there was no part of my body that was actually showing uh, like in, in the video um but i think the reason that that happened and and why i used hashtag ad in order to keep the video up is because of algorithmic bias yeah. so i don't know i actually got to do a um an audiobook about this it's called sex race and robots and it's about this it's about al algorithmic bias and how that's something that we have to be really aware of right now You've been aware before a lot of people, and uh, I think that's why you're successful, <laughs> not just in what you make, not just in what you do, but in who you are. Amanda, thank you so much for joining me on the show again. Hey. Congratulations on an amazing film. Bodies, bodies, bodies will be in select theaters this Friday, August 5th, and nationwide, August 12th.